to the vlog. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day or wonderful end to your day, whatever time it is that you're watching this. I just got home from shopping at Target and the Korean grocery store and I got so much stuff. If you guys wanna watch the shopping, make sure you watch the last vlog. But I thought that I would do a little haul for you guys, or rather a large haul of all the stuff that I got. So without further ado, let's get into this crazy haul. Both of these stores I've been meaning to go to for such a long time and just kept putting it off. And then in turn, the list kept growing and growing of things to get. So that's why they're so big. But let's start with the Korean grocery store. So sorry, the dogs are playing behind so they might start barking. I went to Galleria, which is my second favorite chain of Asian grocery stores. My first favorite is definitely H Mart. I feel like they're just a little bit better stocked on things, but I went to this one today and I got some good stuff. Again, apologies for the growling that's happening behind, but let's get into it. Okay, this is in no order. I'm just gonna go through all of the things. Oh, this is perfect. I wanted to start with the Korean grocery store because I wanted to eat a snack because I'm really hungry. First up, I got some kimbap. I got this one that was made today. I love the fresh pack one. When I brought Alicia to H Mart for her first experience ever, I wanted her to try the fresh kimbap, but they didn't have any that day. So I actually got this one for Alicia. This is one with seaweed, rice, carrot, spinach, fish cake, egg, radish, salt, and sesame oil. So I got her a fish cake variation because I'm seeing her tonight. And then I also got her a beef variation. This one, if you can see, has the carrot, the egg, the seaweed, the burdock, or the radish, and then has beef in there. So I'm gonna bring her these to have tonight. And then for myself, I got the fish cake one because this one's my personal favorite. Let's try her out, shall we? If you've never seen this, there we go. It's like a Korean sushi. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm hmm Not the freshest kimbap I've ever had, but not bad. It gets the job done for sure. Okay, next up, I got these Hello Kitty little wipes because I thought they were cute, and also I just needed wipes to wipe down my countertop because every time I use loose powder where I do my makeup, powder everywhere. So I got these because they're adorable. I got my favorite panchan, which are these little seasoned dried radishes. I'm about to eat this with the kimbap after this. I got a little Tupperware container to put my panchan in because this gets kind of smelly, and this one will lock in all of the fresh and the scent and everything. So I got that for that. I got some basil because I am going to make the Baked by Melissa Green Goddess Dip. I got some pre-peeled garlic because this just makes it super convenient to just have fresh garlic on hand. Caesar dressing because I've been so obsessed with Caesar salads lately. I just wanna eat them all the time. So I got this one to try. I'm about to go on a Caesar dressing hunt and try and find the best ones. I also wanna make my own, but I will get to that eventually. I got these two containers which often will be used for kimchi and things like that. I got them because I'm gonna marinate meats in here and I needed better, bigger Tupperware containers. So I like the colors, I like the handle. I just thought this was really nice and handy. So I am going to use these for some kalbi and then some chicken, which I will show you guys very soon. Okay, next up. Speaking of kimbap, I found the frozen versions. I'm curious to put these against the Trader Joe's ones, which were so good, blew my mind. And I feel like these might even be like the same, but with a different packaging, which would be amazing. Cause these are a lot easier to get, but they're from Korea, just like the other ones. And I got a few variations. I got the vegetable one, the japchae, which japchae are like a noodle. It's like a glass noodle with all the veggies as well. And then I also got this variation, which was the fried tofu and burdock kimbap, which I think this would be the most most similar to the Trader Joe's one. So I'm gonna try and see how it is. I feel like it'll be pretty similar. I got quite a few of those cause I know I'm gonna like them. So I'm gonna put those in the fridge or the freezer rather. I also got these, which are, I believe, I can't read them, but I'm pretty sure they're like little fish cake popsicles almost. It's like a Korean street food. I love fish cake so much. They're like one of my favorite foods. And this seems like a really nice snack. They're pretty low in calorie. And then I think they have like a goodish amount of protein. Can't read it, but they sound good. I got one spicy and then one regular. Speaking of fish cake, I got the little uh, pink and white little fish cake here. I always have fish cake in my fridge to throw in, whether I'm making tteokbokki, ramen, literally anything, rice. I just like fish cake. Korean short ribs that I'm going to marinate up and make into kalbi. And again, this little container will fit them perfectly like so. I also wanted to try making my marinade and then marinating other meats in it. My kalbi marinade, which you can find on cookingwithrami.com if you're interested. It's super easy to make. And I was like, it's so good on beef. I'm sure it'll be good on tofu, pork, or even chicken. So I got some 
organic chicken drumsticks here. Honestly, I might, if I have time after I clean all this up, I might make it before I leave because I would love to have these marinating like soon. I got two packs of drumsticks. I'm also working on recipes for an upcoming video and I think that would be really good for the video. So we will do that. I think we have, oh, two more bags. Wow, two more bags from the Korean store. I got a good amount of produce. I got two packs of strawberries because I've just been in a strawberry mood. Jalapenos to have for my green goddess dip slash also just to have on hand. I got some onions because I didn't have any onions in the house and I always have at least like three onions in a bowl waiting to be used. So I just restocked my onion situation. I also got green onions. I got a lot of green onions for my Kaisby marinade and then I also got them because I'm gonna pre-chop them up and then put them in the freezer so I can just use them when I'm cooking and don't have to like, you know, have fresh ones and chop them up all the time. So I'm gonna separate the whites from the greens and then chop it all up and have that on hand. I also got some Fuji apples. I truly believe that Korean grocery store produce is superior to the American store and their apples are one thing that are just like so good. I remember when I was in high school, I would bring Korean Fuji apples to school and they're just like the size of your head. And I remember specifically my ninth grade biology teacher her name was Miss Hannah, I think, was gagged at the size of my apple. These are actually like on the smaller end from what they usually look like, but I got apples to snack on. And then also I saw a girl made like homemade Samoa Girl Scout cookies with apple slices and did like a caramelized coconut with chocolate on top and that looked fire. So I got these. I got a couple Korean pears or pet for my marinade and also leftovers I'll just eat as a snack because they're so fresh and refreshing and delicious. I got some avocados. I got a few comments asking, because I've been talking about my allergy to avocados lately. They're like, did I miss a chapter? Let me explain. So I kind of had a very mild allergy to avocados for like a long time, but it kind of flares up. It went away for like a really long time, but it flared up again when I went to Mexico. So I got nervous and I was like, I think I need to stop eating avocados again. But the avocados that I've had here have been fine. Specifically, the variety that I had in Mexico that were delicious, truly like some of the best avocado I've ever had in my life triggered my allergy for me. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. So I'm trying to figure that out. I think it might just be that like some specific varieties really make my ears itch. I get like an ear itch on the inside of my ear. I get like a slight like throat tickling, like not closing, but like slightly. And that's my reaction. So I'm not trying to test it or push it, but I seem to be fine when I'm here. So that's the gist of what's happening. I'm, I perhaps might need to get an EpiPen and keep it on hand just in case. Okay. And then the last bag I got some bok choy because bok choy is just so good in a stir fry. I love bok choy on anything. I got some little baby potatoes because I wanted to like parboil these and then smash them and then cook them in the oven with like some uh, oil and some Parmesan, maybe some garlic and make them like a crispy smashed potato because those sound delish. I got some freshly minced ginger, which I'm going to use in my Kalbi marinade and that's just so easy. It's already done. I got another pack of strawberries because Again, love strawberries. The main reason I went, I am obsessed with this pre-chopped garlic. All of the Asian stores have them like pre-chopped and ready to go. The only ingredient is garlic. So there's like no preservatives in there. So you have to use it quickly, but it's so fresh. So much better than the squeezy tubes, but just as convenient. And I go through garlic like it's running out of style. So I wanted to get a big container of that. I got some black bean or jajang paste because I saw this guy on TikTok made like a high protein rice jajang bowl. And so I want to make that as well. He mixed it with like high protein meat or like a high lean percentage meat with like zucchini and onion. And if you've never tried jajangmyeon or jajang paste in general, it's so good. It's like a Korean Chinese fusion dish and it's so good. I highly recommend trying that if you haven't already. And I want to make it like a little bit healthier with, you know, rice or figure out some variation of that. Actually on episode one of Cooking with Remy, I made jajangmyeon, which was so good with like pork belly. So good. I got some shallots again for regular cooking and for my green goddess dip. I got another fish cake. This one's actually my favorite. It is the Ebby one, I think it is. No, no, this is the regular one. I don't know, I always get the red one. I just chop it up, so good. I love it so much. And then I got some sliced brisket just to keep in the fridge to cook up for anything. If I just wanna throw a little extra meat in there, good to have on hand. You can also freeze it and then thaw it and use it. And then last but not least, I think actually what I am the most excited for, spring and summer are right around the corner. It's starting to warm up outside. And one of my favorite things in the world is naengmyeon, which is a cold Korean radish noodle. And I found this variation, which I wanted to see if it tastes good. And if it does, I'll be eating this every single day. These are shirataki noodles with radish kimchi broth. So it's the same broth as naengmyeon. The noodles are those shirataki ones that are made 
out of, is it a yam? I forget what it, oh, cognac, it's cognac. So they're much lower in calorie and I wanted to try them because I feel like they'll be so yummy. And I personally like the texture of shirataki noodles or like the miracle noodles. I like them. So I thought, how fun would this be to make with like, you know, some eggs or throw some meat on there, some fresh cucumber, whatever. And it'll be a delicious, refreshing, cold noodle situation for summertime. So that's everything that I got. I got a lot of stuff. Let me pause this, put everything away, eat my snacks, and then I'll come back for the Target haul because that's going to be even bigger. Crazy, I know. Hi, guys. Okay, groceries are put away. I need to leave the house in like 20 minutes. I also need to change for dinner. I'm going out tonight with Alicia. Luna's playing with her toy. Alicia, Ryan, and Paloma from 20 Whatever. I'm so excited, but let me do this haul for you guys really fast before then. Again, in no order, we just got so many things. I've been meaning to go to Target forever to just grab necessary items. So this haul is really big. First up, we needed a restock of napkins. So we have bounty napkins here. I'm a bounty girl through and through. We also have the paper towels and the Gatorade over there by the stairs. Let me give her a toy that doesn't squeak. Please hold. Also, if you guys missed the last vlog, I'm going to build a little snack and drink cart for the delivery drivers that drop off packages here at the house. I've been wanting to do this for so long. I have an extra cart here that I wasn't sure what to do with. And I was like, this is perfect. So a lot of this stuff is for that as well. Lots of non-meltable snacks since it's gonna be outside and chocolate will obviously melt in the heat. So I got these lightly salted roasted almonds. I also got Nature Valley bars because even though they are so messy, they taste really good and also again, don't have chocolate so they'll be good in the heat. I also got some lactate because we needed to restock on the lactate because sometimes dairy just doesn't agree with me. For the snack cart, I got these garden veggie spring egg little veggie chips. I'm gonna pack up the snack cart. I got some coffee filters for our coffee machine as well as, <gasps> it's Easter time, which means that Cadbury eggs are out. And if you did not know, these are like one of my favorite candies. And I found these little individual packs. So I got quite a few because you can only get them right now. Mmm, they're so good. Salted caramel ground coffee for the coffee pot. I got balsamic vinegar. Sorry, let me finish my chocolate. That is so good. Balsamic vinegar because I cleaned out our fridge and got rid of all the sauces that had expired. I had a vinegar in there that I was still using actively that had expired in like 2022. So it was time for a refresh, so I got that. I also got some coffee beans for the espresso machine. This is Phil's Coffee Tesora. Phil's Coffee's bomb, so I got that. For the delivery cart, I thought maybe just like a little sweet you know, maybe they're not hungry, maybe they're not thirsty, but they just want something small. A little dum-dum, perhaps. I love dum-dum. Oh, I got these Muddy Buddy Funfetti. Anything Funfetti, anything birthday cake, anything cake batter, I am all over. So, got these to try. I'll have them as like a real snack one day, but I wanted the chocolate eggs now. Speaking of chocolate eggs, I also got these, which are the Cadbury chocolate eggs, but in dark chocolate. They're the Royal Dark. Normally, I'm a dark chocolate girl through and through. And while these are good, I prefer the original mini eggs, the milk chocolate ones, but I will not complain. I'll take a Cadbury egg any day. Next bags from Target. A lot of the stuff is like home stuff, home improvement, I guess you could say. First up, I got some trash bags because we needed trash bags. These are the Force Flex Glad Beachside Breeze. I personally like the scented ones because trash smells bad and that helps to make it not smell as bad. Again, a lot of cleaning supplies. I needed some new bleach for when I, you know, chop raw chicken or raw meats and things. So I got Clorox spray bleach. Ooh, I just got a whiff of that one. Ooh. Then I got some Johnson's baby shampoo. I have been currently using the Sephora brand brush shampoo for all my makeup brushes, which I really like, but it's expensive and I go through it really fast. So I thought I would try baby shampoo because this was like five bucks and some change and I think will last me a lot longer. So I'm gonna try that. You want something that's like unscented, very light and gentle, which obviously for the babies that works. I also got this Clorox disinfecting mist multi-service spray just to spray around, you know, sometimes the dogs have accidents or something like that and I need to disinfect the floor. So got that. I got the got to be glue glued blasting freeze spray. This is really popular for if you're doing like a slick look, which I've been dealing with a lot of baby hairs. My hair is growing and it's getting long and nice and thick, but I definitely still have like some baby hairs and breakage at the top. So I wanted something to help slick it all down. This reminds me of my brother because he used to use this on his hair when he was younger, when he'd be like spiky hair and just like zzz, freeze it in place. So I got this one and then I also got the like gel version, ultra glued invincible styling gel. I got this to try because I wasn't sure which I would like more. So I got two got to be products. Then I got these little plastic acrylic containers for said snack cart. And then I also picked up, this is the toothpaste Cal uses if anybody wants to have teeth like 
Cal. He asked me to pick up a refill for him. I got a little picture frame so I could write a little delivery driver message. Just like, hi, thank you for everything. Help yourself to whatever. We needed more flossers, so I got more flossers. I also have been doing like little braids and things, but I hate that you can see like the clear plastic so visibly in my black hair. So I got little black ones to help camouflage them better. Those will come in handy. Also, I've been doing a lot of half up, half down hairstyles and I needed just like tiny little black elastics that are still like really durable because these ones I'll use, but they'll always break. So I got these like tiny ones that are made for fine hair. So now I can just throw up my half up, half down in those. Oh, and then I got a bunch more. Cadbury eggs again because I will eat those by the time the season's over. Okay, last but not least, I really needed more Clorox wipes for like every room, for the kitchen, for the laundry room, for all over the house. So I got a bunch of these Clorox wipes just to put everywhere. I've been needing a Windex for a while, so I got a Windex to clean all my windows. And then I also got, I got a wood surface cleaner because my glam desk is made out of wood. Hi, Lou. And I wanted to make sure I'm cleaning that properly and making sure it's nice and polished. I got cling wrap because we don't have any cling wrap. I got a couple gums, which I already put in the car. And then I grabbed these two little Easter baskets because they're so cute. I'm going to use them for my little delivery driver cart and put like the dum-dums in one and like some snacks in the other one. And then when I'm done with them, I'll reuse them as Easter baskets. So that is everything that I got. I know this is a very long haul, but I held off on going for so long that I finally needed to go. And yes, on that note, let's go get changed for dinner. And then we need to run out the door, pick up Alicia, and then go meet the girlies at dinner. Okay, I rushed upstairs, changed for dinner. I need to wash the clothes that I was wearing today. I'm just putting on all black again. This top I think is from either White Fox or maybe Tiger Mist. It's like a little black long sleeve with a little triangle front. It's got an open back. It's pretty scandalous from the back. And then my pants are House of CB black satin trousers that are so cute. I got them hemmed to fit my legs forever ago. And they're like some of my favorite pants. They're so comfy. That is a look. I wish I gave myself more time to get ready, but of course I didn't. So I'm running out the door and let's go see all the girlies. Yeah. Look who's here. you we wish you were here so much. we'll see you soon though after you give birth yes. love you mm -hmm. wishing you a healthy safe birth we're here with the girlies Hi. and we just had dinner and now where are we ladies we're about to Let's treat ourselves i'm gonna say don't worry here we're taking care of them don't you worry don't, yes. don't you worry don't, don't you worry, worry. Yeah, we're good. dinner and dessert of course yay finally Hi. it's finally happening i think i want like a cake i was gonna say do they have Ooh, the thing you yeah, have the, the, the croissant <gasps> The croissant, the croissant. Ooh, wait, that chocolate cake looks good. Oh my God, wait, this like creme brulee oh situation. Oh my God. That. would be crazy for the whole cake. That, <laughs> wait. <gasps> should, look at these big ass cake slices. I'm like, should we get a couple and like share? I mean, when in Rome, baby. I think, right? I look at this little baby I one. know, look at this cute one, Ryan. If I got a couple, would you guys share with me? Yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Paloma. Yes. Yay. Hello guys, my hair looks crazy. I just took my little braids out. It is the next morning. Good morning. I've had a nice slow morning. I just got some computer work done and I'm about to get ready because it is a pretty basic day. Today is very exciting because we're having some special guests on the podcast. That didn't make my hair look any better. I'm about to jump in the shower and do a full hair wash. We got to blow out the hair. We got to look nice and presentable for the pod today. Last night was so much fun. We had such a great time seeing Ryan and Paloma. Originally, we were supposed to see them a few weeks ago with Sierra while she was up in LA before she gave birth. But if you guys remember, I was feeling kind of on the verge of getting sick and I just didn't want to see her obviously when she's very pregnant if I was sick because that'd be very bad and very irresponsible of me. So unfortunately, we missed Sierra because she is home and nesting and getting ready to give birth. But we got to see Ryan and Paloma last night, which was so much fun. I just love, I love a girl's night. It's so fun. It just soothes the soul while we were having dinner and just like gabbing. I just had this like warm feeling inside where I was like, this is just, it's so amazing. I love being around other women. It's just so fun. So yes, we had our dinner. I came back. I knocked out last night. I thought I'd be more sore from Pilates, but I'm like on a scale of one to 10, like maybe a level three right now, like not super sore, meaning I think I could probably do it every day or, you know, work my way up. For now, I'm going to try and do every other day and then maybe work my way up to doing every day because that would be amazing, but I don't want to overdo it too much in the beginning. But I 
am about to jump in the shower, as I just said, and get ready because today we have another group of best friends to hang out with. Today we're having the gals on the go, AKA Brooke Michio and Danielle Carolyn on the pod. We're doing a swap, which is gonna be so much fun. I've known them for so many years now. Seriously, so long, probably like eight years maybe. Normally when we have guests on, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna say. I hope I ask the right questions. I hope I did enough research. But with guests like Danielle and Brooke, who I know so well, I'm like, oh, it's just gonna be so fun. It's just gonna be girl time. I do know they are probably gonna bring out the looks though, meaning I need to step it up. So I'm gonna take a shower. We'll do a blowout. We gotta do the makeup and then we gotta head over to the studio. Let's go friends. I am back. Okay, makeup is on, hair is done. I did the Dyson air wrap blowout and I did a little baby, little baby side part up here. Here's the look. I'm wearing my boots from Macy's and then this dress is from Soroya, I think, from Revolve. I wore this when I went on the Not Brand trip and I haven't worn it since. Just a cute little like knit sweater dress situation. It's super comfy also for recording, which will be fantastic. Also, we're technically only doing one pretty basic episode because we're swapping because we're going to be on Gals on the Go and then one PB, meaning I only need one outfit. Also, I'm like, should I add this headband? No, that's a no. I'm ready early, surprisingly. Let's head over to the studio and go see the gals on the go. Hello guys, we're at the studio. We just did the pretty basic episode. Yay! And look who's here. Yay! Yay! That was so, that was so fun. That was Yay! So, yeah. It went by so it fast. Really I think it turned out really well. We actually, recorded for like an hour and 10, and it felt like yeah. 20 minutes maybe. Seriously, so fast. Wow. Our social media manager's here also. The intern's And here. Brooke's here, the, the intern's intern. here, and Laura's over there. Now we're gonna eat lunch break and then record Gals on the Go! Oh, Finally. I'm so excited. For years, literally for years. Remy, can I also say, I literally love when you touch things in your vlog. <gasps> you know, when you're like, my air- Wait, wire. really? It's my air- <laughs> I, get, I like don't even realize I'm doing it and then when I'm watching it back I'm like that was so, I'm like I got this I hit it so hard all he I asked to say this to the vlog like every Rem life stand to know Brooke Michio is the reason me and Remy are friends yeah. You and Kevin Droniak, your house party. That's, that's where we met. Yeah. I forgot oh, about that. It was her street. It was your Airbnb. Yes. Oh my gosh. Like, Didn't that party and we got in trouble so many oh, times. They were so yes. Nice. They were like, you cannot have parties, you cannot have parties. And we were like, sorry. Oh, like, you, God, you, we were leaving. Else. You were like, you done. Were leaving. It was our last night. It was oh my God. Party. It was this like, was it, was it was a kickback. It was a kickback. Hello, everybody. We are home after a wonderful day. It was so nice to see the girls. I haven't seen them since. I can't remember the last time I saw them. I always try to see them when I'm in New York, but of course everybody's always so busy. I just felt like it was us four talking and no one else was there and like no one else could hear, it was just us. It was so much fun. Let me take off my dress. I'm gonna wash it because I definitely got makeup over here. I have laundry that I have to do. So let me uh, take this off and put my PJs back on. One sec. Okay, pajamas are back on. So much more comfortable. Bra is off. I'm gonna take off my makeup. Also guys, before we recorded with the girls before they came, Alicia and I did like a little catch up situation and talked for like 15 to 20 minutes before before the episode started. And on the episode, I talked about something that's been going on behind the scenes between Daisy and Luna here at the house. I won't go into full detail on here because I'm sure people don't wanna hear the whole thing twice, but if you guys are interested and you wanna hear that, go check out the episode of Pretty Basic because I went into detail of everything going on. Long story short, the girls have been basically fighting for the alpha spot, which is super common, obviously, amongst dogs. I mean, they're animals and always someone wants to be the alpha dog. But behind the scenes, it's been so stressful, so emotional. There's just been a lot going on. So if you guys want to hear like the full story, go check out the Pretty Basic episode. I don't know if you can hear them. They're playing back there. Things have just sorted themselves out. I'm so beyond relieved. You guys don't even know. I can't decide what I want to do tonight. I'm going to double use cleanser because I had so much makeup on. I can't decide what I want to do tonight. Like part of me wants to go out and do a date night with Cal and then part of me wants to just stay in and do a date night with Cal. But I do have to be up early tomorrow because I'm going on another podcast in the morning. I'm going on Cheers, which is Avery Woods' podcast, which if you guys don't follow her, I'm sure all of you guys already know who she is. She's a TikToker that I've been following for a while now and we've been like friends on TikTok and Instagram and she's just so sweet and I love her so much. I've never met her in person yet, so I'm super excited to meet her. And that's in the morning, so I do feel like I need to get a good night of sleep for that because I want to make sure I bring my A game, obviously. So I'm kind of leaning towards staying in, but not quite sure. Part of me like wants to go to the arcade. I know that sounds silly, but I love me a round one and I would love to go play the Angry Birds coin pusher game. But I do think that the mature thing to do 
would be to stay inside and relax tonight so that I am good for tomorrow because I wanna make sure that I am good for work, obviously. Not meeting the shirt all wet, okay. All I know is I feel fresh and clean and amazing. And like I was saying, these two are constantly playing now. So happy, hey, 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 Daisy, Nuna, say hi. And my sweet girl, hey. Don't take her down. All three of them love to play. There they go. Yay! So happy, Lou. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. Oh, yeah, I can do it. You don't have to do it. You sure? Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Do you have your little carrots? <gasps> Hello. Do you have your little carrots? <gasps> yes. You're so cute. Hey, there were three here. What happened to the other one? Hello. Hi, vlog. <laughs> Cal got a haircut today. Yep. Show them your beautiful do. I just did. <laughs> Gorgeous. Tens across the board. Okay, I am now going to, I wanna lay down, but also I feel as though I need to make the marinade because I didn't have time to do that yesterday. And I really wanna get these meats marinating so that they can be ready tomorrow, but actually be ready on Thursday because they'll taste better on Thursday. So. I'm gonna marinate this meat and uh, let's speed through this. If you guys have not tried my Kalbi recipe, it is so good and uh, it's really easy to make. So I will fast forward this with you guys. Also, it's already 7.48 p.m. Where did the time go today? I don't know. actually ended the vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just know the meat marinade was so delicious, so good, and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye!